Hey everyone, I'm ExitSign250 and in this video I have something pretty interesting to show and that's a pedestrian signal. Not a lot of people know I have an interest in traffic signals. It was actually one of my early interests with exit signs and fire alarms. It's not a big collection I have. I have some traffic signs and a traffic light. But uh, yeah, so this would be my second signal in my collection. I'm very grateful I was able to find it. It's actually the same style of pedestrian signal I like. I like the little grill cage thing on it. Um, and I like the hand and man ones. Uh, there's a GE LED pedestrian signal insert with countdown. So this video, I'm actually going to be taking apart this signal, refurbishing it, repainting it, and I'm actually going to build a post for it and have a little demo with an Arduino that controls it. So I'm going to be taking out the insert right there. And there's the inside. Um, it was actually formerly incandescent. You can see there's some bulb sockets there where don't walk and walk legend was and as you can see it was also this insert was added in 2018 um, it replaced the old incandescent ones and it was actually taken out of service pretty early um, so now I'm gonna be taking out the little grill cover cage thing I'm not really sure the official you know uh, word for it but uh, there it is and then I'm gonna be removing the brackets off of it so I can paint those but uh, yeah there it is again this is my favorite type of pedestrian signal and uh, now we're outside, and I'm going to be painting it, so I'm thinking the door is going to be black, and the actual signal itself, the signal housing, is going to be yellow. That's actually my favorite combination as well. So painting the door black here, um, I applied multiple coats, but for the video it looks like I'm just putting one coat on. Um, I just used a standard flat black, and uh, I thought it turned out really well. So there it is, and I let let it sit for a few hours before you know doing more coats and working on the yellow so there's the uh, grill cage bracket thing whatever you want to call it uh, painted that down so it matches the door and there it is that's the finished product right there I thought it looked pretty good um, and there's the brackets so time to paint the actual housing of it uh, again I just got a standard flat yellow I didn't really want it glossy um, and uh, on the inside I didn't paint it a lot because no one's going to see it so I think I only put about I think I put one coat on the inside so it didn't look the best but if, again no one's going to look at the inside just the outside um, yes and I prefer yellow signals compared to black signals I just feel like yellow is more traditional and around my area there's mainly yellow signals so there you go so again spraying it down it looks glossy but that's just because the paint's wet Here's the finished product. Um, I thought, again, I thought it turned out really well. There's the uh, bulb sockets and the terminal block. I'm putting those back in just to take advantage of the terminal block and so I can put my Arduino circuit board in. Um, so there you go. It was actually missing a bolt when I originally got it, so there's only three bolts holding that down. Now I'm putting in the um, cage, visor, grill, whatever it's called. Um, I was trying to not to scratch the paint on it too, because that would be a pain if I scratched the paint. Putting in new bolts, I actually got rid of the original ones. They were a pain. Some of them were stripped, so I just put in fresh ones, so to speak. So there it is. Uh, now I am starting to build the post. So I used it out of 2-inch PVC, and a few of the fittings I actually used electrical PVC conduit. Um, so it turned out well. Um, I'm glad I was able to find all the parts I needed. And there's a 2 inch PVC, uh, I think it was like a 10 foot section I bought from Home Depot. It was cheaper to buy that and I could have the length I wanted. Again, these are a pain to cut. Now I'm drilling a hole for the light switch that will be turning the signal on and off. And the base of the pole, I have a little hole for an extension cord that powers it. And now I'm painting the pole itself. I used a metallic silvery gray color just to resemble a pole because obviously the PVC won't do that. So I painted the whole thing this color. As you can see I also used a different type of spray can. It's not the traditional style. And now I am painting the wooden base for it. Uh, I used a different color. As you can see it's black to give it contrast. So there you go. Um, it's also kind of glossy, semi, not really. Um, now I'm screwing it into the wooden base right there. I'm just using standard screws and there is the wiring that's the extension cord that runs through tight in a knot so it can't be pulled out and then it goes up to this light switch <clears throat> when you turn it on signals turn on and off of course signal is off 
There's the signal itself, or I guess the housing of it. I'm putting on the male adapter and putting on a nut for it. There's the circuit I made. It does look a little sketchy, but there's the Arduino, which goes to two AC relays, which will control the hand and the man. And the program itself I made 100% by myself, so it's kind of my own thing. And there it is on the inside. There's the wiring, which goes to the terminal block and the Arduino. Um, so there you go. And it's actually on right now. I was doing some testing with it to make sure it all was functional. So yeah, there it is. Now I have the LED insert uh, attached to the terminal block, so I'm going to go ahead and slide that on. And other than that, the pedestrian signal demo is basically done, so I'm just going to close the door and tighten down the wing nuts. And that's the pedestrian signal demo. And here is the final product. So there's the actual pedestrian signal right here. You can see all repainted and everything. I really, this is probably my favorite type of pedestrian signal with the little cage visor thing and then the black door with a yellow body. Um, this is actually why I chose this type. There is the post, which I'm really liking this color. It's PVC, but it makes it look metallic. And then down here's the base. Um, I actually chose to make the wood a different color last minute just to give it some contrast, which I actually think it looks really nice. But uh, yeah, there you go. Um, and then of course on the back we have the ICC logo, and then we have the switch which turns the pedestrian signal on and off. And then down here is the power cord um, that goes to the base of the signal to an outlet. So now let's go ahead and flip it on. So I completely made the Arduino program for the signal all by myself. Um, the thing you saw in the beginning was just a little test startup sequence, mainly just there for fun. But uh, it works pretty great. So the program um, has the don't walk phase for 25 seconds, the walk phase for 25, and then it has a 20 second countdown. Um, I couldn't really decide, I really wanted this to be a more of a demo sequence um, rather than an actual realistic one. So that's why the uh, times are so short. Here is the walk phase here and then it's going to start counting down and it'll actually display a zero while it's counting how many uh, flashes there are. And then in the next cycle it'll go to 20. Well, I'm going to try to show you guys a full cycle of the signal while I just talk about it. Um, so this is a project I've been wanting to do for a long time, but uh, I've never really, you know, had the opportunity to get an actual pedestrian signal for a good price. Um, but I finally was able to do it. It's actually not the exact uh, signal insert I wanted. I don't really like how you can see all of the individual LEDs. I like the ones that are actually just a symbol, but uh, that's okay. Um, something I may do in the future is add a push button and change up the programming to do a little, maybe some other features with it, I'm not sure. But if I do, I'll definitely make another video about it. Um, I'm really glad I could make this video on from start to finish of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's not really what I usually do, but uh, for those that don't know, I actually own a traffic signal that I've had since I was like four years old. It's been in my backyard forever, and I took it down briefly, and recently I put it back up. So maybe I'll start making some videos about it. But uh, yeah, there you go. So. Now it's finishing the countdown sequence. And there it is, back to Don't Walk. Here it is in my room. So I made a little spot for it beside my desk, and I think it looks cool because I have some other stuff around, like here's some of my display shelves of some exit signs and fire alarm stuff, and I just think it's cool that I got a pedestrian signal just sitting in the corner. Unfortunately, I do have to use these weights to make keep it so it doesn't fall over um, since it's on carpet. So it does sway a little bit, and it's almost fallen a few times, so I just have those there. And of course it goes up, the actual pedestrian signal itself. You can see I have it angled, um, so it's more facing out of the corner, so you can see it better. Um, the cord runs down and then plugs into an outlet down there, and of course the switch back here, so we can turn it on. And there you go. And it's very bright in here compared to when it was outside. So the camera may have some trouble for some reason picking it up, but uh, that, there you go. So I think this was a cool project. I really enjoyed it.
Really glad I was able to pull it off too. I was worried the pedestrian signal would be too big for my room, but I think it worked out fine. So there you go. Well, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this was something something different. Um, so I'm, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed me building the whole thing and uh, I'm glad it worked. So there you go. Well, I guess I will see you guys in another video.